guys, welcome back. Tom here from Go Bear Games, back with another tutorial. Today we are doing Syndicate, and this is the second time I've had to record it, down to the fact that I deleted the previous recording. But anyway, hopefully this one will go a bit better. So the materials you're going to need for this statue is stone, grey, black, white, green, lime, red, yellow, and gold. Okay, so we're going to start off. We're going to place one stone. One grey, one stone, two grey, one stone, one grey, one stone, like that. Pretty simple. For the next row, we're going to do two stone, four grey, and then two stone. The row after that, we do eight black. And then the row after that, we do three black, two grey, three black. Next row is eight black. Then the next row is two black, one grey, two black, one grey, two black. Next row, next two rows, should I say, is just eight black. And then two black, one grey, two black, one grey, two black again. Then again, another two rows of eight uh, black. So it should be looking like this at the moment. Then for the next row, again, two black, one grey, two black, one grey, two black. This is where it gets slightly different. We're going to do one black, six grey, one black. But in the middle, where these two grey are, we're going to punch them out and place two yellow. So really it should be two grey, two yellow, two grey. But um, yeah. On top of this yellow, we're going to place one gold and next out one yellow like that. And then next to it, we're going to place two grey each side, like so. And then on this grey, the left hand side, we go one up with grey. Then what we're going to do is make the black come up in level with this. So just fill it all in like that with black wool. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do three black, one grey, two black, one grey, one black. The next row is 8 black. The next row is 2 black. Or 3 black, should I say. 2 red and 3 black. And this is what it should be looking like so far. So I forgot to mention at the start of this video that this is actually my design. So this is something I did myself. And I think it's probably one of my nicest designs. I'm, I guess I'll stand here, let you guys catch up if you need to. Um, I think it turned out nicest. I think it's one of the nicer designs out there at the moment. And it see, yeah, it's going night time. I was about to say it seems like it's going night time. But what we're going to do quickly is bring this red up five, so three, four, five, like that, and double it up. So it should be six in total. Bring it to the left one, bring it to the right one, and then go up diagonal from each side, like so. Then what we're going to do quickly before the sun goes down is do four white here. And we're going to go underneath this red and go down two to side one. And then down uh, three like that. And then repeat the other side. So down two to side one and then down three like that. So this is what it should be looking like right now. I'm going to sleep quickly and let you guys catch up I guess. As always pause the video if you need to catch up. Let me just check that the audio is working well. Yes, it is. Brilliant. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go up to where this white is. And below it, we're going to place one grey. And then we're going to go down diagonal and place one more like that. And then what we're going to do is just fill this whole thing in with black all the way up until it's level with the red blocks each side. So it should look like this. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the arms. So the way of finding out where the arms go is just come in line with this uh, yellow buckle. The bottom row of it come across and that's where the hand, uh, the hand start I guess. So we're going to do one green, two lime, one green. Then we're going to do one lime, three green. Then four white. Then one grey, three black. Four black. One grey, one black, one grey, one black, four black, then we gotta do black, black, grey, black. Next row we're gonna do black, 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 
grey, or should I say three black grey. Next row we're going to do four black. Next row we do two black, one grey, one black, and then final row four black. So as always, pause here if you need to, that is what it should look like. And the other side is similar, I, would, I was about to say the same, but it's not the same. So we go in line the other side, we do one green, two lime, one green. Then we've got the three green, one lime, four white. Then we've got three black, one grey. Next row we've got four black. Next row we've got grey, two black, one grey. Next row we've got four black. Then we've got one black, one grey, two black. Should be looking like this. This is probably the best opportunity you'll get to pause if you need to. Now we're going to do one grey, three black. Next row is four black. And we do one black, one grey, two black. And then the final row is four black. So this is what it should be looking like so far. If you haven't got it looking like this and I'd pause here, figure out what's gone wrong and catch up I guess. But for now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the back. So go around here and we're going to leave a two gap like that and we're going to build on the third row. So we do eight long line of grey wool and we double it up so two layers of that. Then what we're going to do is an eight long line of black wool. We're then going to do one black, one grey, four black, one grey, one black. We're then going to do two rows of eight of black, like that. Then we're going to do two black, one grey, uh, two black, two grey. So it's two black, one grey, two black, one grey, two black. There we go. Then we do two rows again of eight of black. A lot of black and grey and green and lime involved with this. Then what we're going to do again, two black, one grey, two black, one grey, two black. Then another two rows of eight of black. Hopefully you've got the idea of the pattern now, so it should be looking like this. Then what we're going to do is three grey, one black, four grey. And then for the next row, exact same, three grey, one black, four grey. Then on top of that, we do eight black. On top of that, we do two black, one grey, three black, one grey, one black. Next row is eight black. And of course, I'll give you a second to catch up if you need to. This is what it should be looking like. Pause here if you need to. And I'm just going to quickly check the audio. Yes, it is looking fine. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to do one grey, four black, one grey, two black. Next row is two black, one grey, five black. Next row is seven black, one grey. Next row is six black, one grey, one black, like that. Next row is one black, one grey, six black. Next row is three black, I believe. Oh no, four black, should I say. Uh, one grey, three black. And then next row is eight black. Okay, so it should be looking like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, like the other side, we're going to come in line with this grey, and we're going to do two lime. This is for the arms, by the way, and then two green. And then we're going to do two green, one lime, one green, four white. Then we do four black, one black one grey, two black, and we do four black, and we're going to bring this all the way up until it's level with this side, just bring it all the way up using solid black wool, and then all we have to do is punch one grey block out, which is you go one down one diagonal from the top corner, punch it out, and that is there, 
We're then going to go to the other side. Again, come in line with the uh, grey belt. Two light, two lime, two green. Next row, we do two green, one lime, one green. And we've got four white. And we've got four black. Two, two black, one grey, one black. Next row is four black. Next row is one black, one grey, two black. And we're again bring, gonna bring it up to the top and punch the one from the top corner or down diagonal from the top corner out and replace it with grey wool. So this is what it should look like. Again, pause right here if you need to catch up at any point. And now what I am going to do is I will move on to the sides. Okay. So for the sides of the design, what we are going to do is, in fact, before I do the sides, I will save the recording. So I will view on a second. Okay, so I am back, and it was kind of a good job that I did pause the recording, because straight away, like a minute after, I got really badly disrupted. But anyway, so yeah, this is what it should be looking like right now. I'll give you a front and, a, uh, front and back view quickly. So that's the front and this is the back okay so for the side what we're going to do is we're going to come down to here and we're going to place one grey and one stone next to what it should already be like and then we're going to interchange it like that so it'll be a, a corner like that and an up diagonal for both and that applies the same to the other side as well then of course it's just black all the way up until here with the exception of two places that we are going to punch out in un second. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go two up from here. So two up from this grey and place one like that. Then we're going to go right up to the top and opposite side. So there, we're going to count one down and place a uh, grey like that. So same for this side. Whoops. So we're going to count two up from that grey. One, two. And we're going to go up opposite side come down one and place one like that okay so this is what it should be looking like what we're now going to do is we're going to add the uh, bottom so you can make it detailed I in my original design made it detailed for the bottom of the hands but it's not like you're going to be asked here anyway so I'm not going to do it for the tutorial um, hopefully you will not mind but I doubt many people will okay so what we're going to do next is we are going to do the sides of the arms knees in case you couldn't tell um, so we're gonna do two gr uh, two green and then next row we're gonna do lime then green then we're gonna do two white then two black and we're gonna place one gold there on top of that gold we can place black on top of that black we can place gold and then the rest of the arm is just black wool so it should look like this okay and the other side is more or less the exact same so we're gonna do um, one lime there, one green like that. Then what we're going to do is we are going to place one green there. Uh, so it should be looked like that. And we're going to do one lime, then two white, two black, one gold, second gold, and then fill the rest in with black wool. Okay, so that is the side of the arms again. Pause right here if you need to for this side, and pause right here if you need to for this side. Okay, so for the top, what we're just going to do is just fill it in with solid black wool, like so. You don't have to fill in the whole section up until the red tie. You fill in the whole section up until the red tie. Here you don't need to fill it in, but I'm just going to do that because it makes my life easier for building the head. I would follow thoroughly, Fo yeah, thoroughly, that's the word I was looking for, follow thoroughly recommend it um, for building the head because it makes life a bit easier um, so anyway what we're going to do now is we're going to come one across from the uh, red tie wheel onto the head by the way and we're going to go out diagonal um, and we're going to go out two basically so overhangs two then we're going to join it together so it should be eight long and this is all using green wool so it should be looking like this okay so for the front of the head, we're going to do first layer is just solid green. Second layer of eight is solid green. The third layer is one green, two lime, 
two green, two lime, one green. Next row is one lime, two black, two lime, two black, one lime. Next row is one lime, or should I say uh, five lime? No, four lime, that's it, I can't count. Four lime, one green, one lime, two green. Next row we do one green, uh, five lime, two green. Next row is five green, one lime, two green. Next row is eight green, and that is it for the front of the face. So the front of the face should be looking like this. Now what we'll do is move on to the side. Okay, so for the side, um, I've just got to figure out which side is which. Okay, that's the side. So for the right side, we're going to do first, it's this side. Uh, let me just give you a opportunity to pause. There you go. And for the right side, we're going to start off at the bottom. We're going to place one lime there, two green one lime, one green, one lime, one green like that. Then what we're gonna do next row we place two two green one lime and then four green next row is one green, one lime two green, three lime, or two lime should I say, one green. Next row is one green, one lime two green, one lime, two green Next row is one green, green, one green, one lime, one green, one lime, three green. Whoops, like that. Next row is two green, one lime, four green. Next row is one lime or two lime, one green, one lime, one green, one lime, one green. Next row is one lime, five green. Or six green, should I say? I can't count. I can't count for shit. Look at me. Um, so it should look like this. Pause here if you need to. And again, the front one last time. Okay. So for this side, the left side, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, eight green like that. So it should overhang the back two. Then we've got the green here, so I'm not going to include this line on the other side, I didn't include that either, hence why it was I did it from here to here. Um, so for this one, we're going to do two green, two lime, one green, two lime. Next row, we're going to do one green, one lime, and five green, I believe. Next row is one green, one lime, two green one lime, two green. Next row is one green, two lime, one, uh, two green, one lime, one green. Next row is seven green. Next row is lime, two green, lime, two green, lime. And then the final row is seven green. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay. For the final, uh, well not for the final side, for the back of the head, the final side would be the top of course. We're just going to do a row of green here. Then for this row, we're going to do two green, one lime, two green, one lime. Next row, we're going to do six green. Next row, we're in fact going to start from here, we're going to go up diagonal and up one. Um, then we're going to do one green, one lime, and three green. Next row we do one green, one lime, three green. And of course it matches up with that, so one lime. Next row we're gonna do one green, green, I keep on saying green. One green, one lime, and then green to the end, so four green. Next one is two green, one lime, one green, one lime, one green. Next one is one lime, one uh two green, one lime one green one lime next one is one lime one green one lime two green one lime 
So I may have gone through that a bit fast, but that is what it should look like. So you should be able to catch up just from looking at that. Well, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's pretty simple. Now all we've got to do is the top of the head. But I will pause the recording once more again just to make sure I did all that right. And also it's going night time, so when you see me, it'll be daytime. So I will be one second, be right back. And welcome back guys, so I have checked the recording and everything has gone perfectly so far. So for the final stage of this tutorial, all we will need to do is the top of the head. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to do the lime green and then fill in the green, green. Oh my god, I keep on saying that, green, okay. So we're going to bring it to side one, uh, reference to where we are, front, go up to the top. It's one lime green here. Then we're going to go up diagonal and go to the side one. Then what we're going to do is bring this one at the top down one. We're then going to go down diagonal from this one. Punch that block out and place three like that. Go to the side two and place two like that. And that is literally it. So I'm going to fill in the green wall. I probably didn't explain that the best I possibly could have so I'm more hoping that you can work it out if I show you um, rather than me having to audioly audioly I don't know um, tell you how to do it so that is what it should look like so that is the tutorial done let me just get that off my hot bar and I will show you basically what it should look like that's the top and now I'm just going to do one last spin around of the statue just so you can see it and catch up if you need to so that's the legs the body, the sides, like that. Okay, onto the back, the back of the head. I'll just spin around the head. So, anyway, I guess this is my second time recording this. It did take quite a while. Hopefully, if you enjoyed it or found it at all helpful, please hit the uh, like button. It really just shows a bit of support, I guess. Subscribe if you haven't. I guess if you can see the other stuff in the world, you can get a general gist of what I do um, statues, pixel art, Minecraft stuff, basically. Um, so, yeah subscribe if you haven't and hopefully i will see you in a video soon so until then thank you for watching i've been tom and i will see you next time goodbye pull my heart out of my chest train my mind so i forget sink your teeth into my bones dig me out then fill the hole tear me apart Oh